Okay, so we're back at the Gemini motor. This time he doesn't want to run. Open or close. So what you can see is if we start the the motor, you can hear it buzzing. And it wants to turn. And if you start it, it does actually turn. So what these motors has is a let's just hold on one second. The motor has a starting capacitor, which you can see here. Um, that helps to get the phase factor correct, um, to get the motor to start turning. Um, so I'm going to take that out and see if we can check if there's something wrong with it or not. If we check here, the capacitor is this big white thing and it goes through, it's fastened with a nut on the inside here. So we just need to loosen that nut and then we'll get the capacitor out. We are in a bit of luck. We can clearly see the capacitor blew out and the, whatever the chemical stuff that's inside came out. So this capacitor is definitely broken. Let's just see what the capacitor is. Okay, it is a 16 microfarad, 400 volt capacitor. I'm going to take this off as a sample to the shop and get us a new one. So we got a new one. Um, the previous one was 16 microfarad. This one is only 12, but they assured me it will still work. They don't sell a 16 one. Um, so let's connect it. I took a picture of the old connection before I took it out. And what it seems to me like was you need to put blue across blue and red across red. So I'm just going to do that. And then we'll see if the motor starts up or not. Okay, so I installed the capacitor and reconnected the wires on that side. The nut here on the inside is tightened. Let's see if it works. How's that? There you go. What I noticed on the new one was these pins are sticking out when the old one it was it was um, bent to the side. And I think I am going to have a problem putting the case back because the case comes straight down from here. So I'm just going to bend it a bit out. Just so that there's some more space for the casing to come back on. Just don't want to break off those tabs, obviously. So let's see. Let's put this receiver back in the front. Let's see if this will slide over. That's it. There you go. Thanks for watching.